Naomi Watts has always had the looks of a Hollywood icon, but her career wasn't always so perfect. It took years and many auditions for her to become the Oscar-nominated actress we've come to know. While many of us are familiar with some of Watts' work, many of us don't actually know much about her because she's so private. We have 10 things you probably didn't know about Naomi Watts. Upbringing Naomi Ellen Watts was born on September 28, 1968 in Shoreham, Kent, England, to Mathanwy, an antiques dealer and costume and set designer, and Peter, a road manager and sound engineer who worked with Pink Floyd. She has one younger brother, Ben, who is a photographer. Her parents divorced when she was four years old, but later reconciled. In 1976, her father was found dead in London of an apparent heroin overdose. Moving around. Growing up, Watts moved around a lot. Along with her brother and her mother, she moved several times across the southeast England following her parents' divorce. After her father's death, her mother moved Naomi and her brother to Langefni and Lanferpulgwinjil in North Wales to live with her parents. When her mother remarried in 1978, they moved to Suffolk, and when Watts was 14, the family moved to Sydney, New South Wales in Australia. Near-death experience. Before her family moved to Australia, they made a quick stop in Bali. Unfortunately, during one of their days at the beach, Watts and her mother got caught in a riptide and almost drowned. She told the Independent, we got caught in a rip, and I just got very, very tired. Now I know how to deal with a rip, you don't try to swim to the shore, you just let yourself go with the tide. But my instincts were telling me otherwise. I remember getting scared by it, and my mum was very scared. I'm still scared of swimming in waves. Odd jobs. Watts didn't finish high school and went to work after she dropped out as a paper girl, a negative cutter and managing a delicacies store. When she was 18, she decided to become a model. She signed with an agency that sent her to Japan, but she returned to Sydney after several failed auditions. She then got a job in advertising for a department store, and then the magazine Follow Me hired her as an assistant fashion editor. After attending a weekend acting workshop, she quit her magazine job and began pursuing an acting career. Meeting Nicole Kidman. Watts met her good friend Nicole Kidman when they were teenagers. They were auditioning for a bikini commercial which neither of them booked, and they shared a cab home. Watts said, we had to sit and wait, both in swimsuits, feeling incredibly embarrassed. It was at Kidman's premiere for Dead Calm that Watts met director John Dugan, who invited her to take a supporting role in the indie film Flirting, alongside Kidman and Thandie Newton. Professional Struggles. She moved to Los Angeles back in 1993 to further her film career. That same year, she landed a role in the John Goodman film, Matinee, but ended up moving back to Australia to star in three Australian films, Wide Sargasso Sea, The Custodian and Gross Misconduct. She then moved back to the US, but had difficulty finding agents, producers, and directors willing to hire her. These were tough times for Watts. She found herself unable to pay her rent and even lost her medical insurance. During this time, she considered leaving the acting business. She said, whenever I felt I was at the end of my rope, something would come up. Something bad. But for me it was work begets work that was my motto. Missed opportunities. Watts was close to being in cast in films like Meet the Parents, The Postman, and The Devil's Advocate. She said, I came to New York and auditioned at least five times for Meet the Parents as Ben Stiller's bride-to-be. I think the director liked me, but the studio didn't. I heard every piece of feedback you could imagine, and in this case, it was not sexy enough. Breakout role. After appearing in over a decade's worth of forgettable roles, David Lynch casts the blonde beauty in his psychological thriller, Mulholland Drive, after seeing her headshot. Although it was initially conceived of as a pilot for a television series, it's rejected, so Lynch instead turned it into a feature film, and it was picked up for distribution. Critics praised Watts, with Salon calling her performance dazzling. Relationships. Watts dated Heath Ledger from 2002 to 2004, after meeting on the set of Ned Kelly. They reportedly broke up because she wanted to get married and have children, and Heath, being 11 years her junior, wasn't ready. In 2005, she began dating Liev Schreiber after meeting at the Met Gala. Together, they have two children, Sasha, born in 2007, and Kai, born in 2008. According to Liev, he gave Naomi a ring, but the two are not married. After 11 years together, Watts and Schreiber made the decision to separate. 
she's been nominated for over 100 awards. With over 50 films under her belt you'd expect her to have a lot of nominations, but to have over 100 is simply incredible. Her nominations range from the most prominent and well-known awards to lesser known, but equally impressive, achievements. Watts has been nominated for two Academy Awards in the category of Best Actress. Her first nomination was in 2003's 21 Grams, then again in 2012 for The Impossible. She hasn't gotten the title of Oscar winner just yet, but like they say, it's an honor to be nominated. Most of her other nominations come in the form of awards from critics and film associations, who often praise Watts for whichever role she plays. She is a tremendous talent who has a tendency to shine in any role she takes on, no matter how big or small.